Joined by Raylan Munoz, Executive Director of Missouri's National Veterans Memorial in Perryville. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Veterans Day, what does this mean? Well, it's the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, where we honor all of those heroes that have so selflessly served our nation. At the memorial specifically, what do you have going on? So tomorrow at 11 o'clock, we will have Command Sergeant Major Marvin Hill, where he'll share of his 35 years of that selfless service and what he's doing currently in the civilian sector for FedEx Freight with their veteran initiatives and program. What exactly will be going on? I know today we had the Jeep. Can you tell me about the Jeep? Because I feel like the Jeep is so cool. So we had a 1954 Willys Jeep delivered today. Oh my gosh. The last two academic school years, the students at the Perryville Career and Technology Center have worked timelessly mm. restoring it. It was delivered today and will be unveiled tomorrow in our museum. Oh, that's incredible. What do you think some of the reactions are probably going to be to it? Well, I think with it being a historic when military service, that those veterans that come on site, not only for our ceremony, but it'll be able times for them to reflect on their service and bring them back to when they served. How deep is that camaraderie that you witness? Well, for myself being a Marine Corps veteran, when I walk into a room, it doesn't matter what era they served, it doesn't matter where their background is or what they're doing in life currently, it brings us back to where we look out for each other, we support each other. So it's a part of that healing and reflection that we have on our campus. How special is that? Well, it's something you can't recreate. And unless you know, you know. And especially for those veterans that suffer from things that happen while they were on active duty, it allows for them to share that with their fellow service members. Do you feel as if making sure people have awareness of um, veterans and what they go through, do you think that's important to have awareness about that? Absolutely, education, education, education. Not only for our peers, but for our youth. Our kids are the leaders and veterans of tomorrow. And us having a campus like we do in Perryville gives a platform to teach those about what it is to be a service member. The main takeaway by people being there and seeing it all firsthand, um, the memorial, uh, the flags, uh, what does that mean? For myself personally, it gives everyone an opportunity, not just the veteran, not just their family, but our community to pause and take a moment to realize our freedoms are not free. And that though many veterans choose to serve after service, for some, it's campuses like this that we need to help with their healing, to help with their growth and transition back into the civilian world.